our programs offer many languages, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. It is wrong to have a food system that is more destructive to the environment than everything else put together. It's wrong to have a food system that's unnecessarily cruel to animals. The Trinity of Plant-Based Education. Liberation from an Animal Diet. Continue watching to find out more. Talofa Tagata Uma means hello everyone in Samoan, one of the two official languages of the independent state of Samoa in the South Pacific Ocean. Tender-hearted viewers, I am Motu. The friendly people of Samoa thank God for blessing their island paradise with amazing natural scenery, gorgeous beaches, beautiful mountains, and captivating coral reefs. They also thank you for your compassion in protecting our planet and respecting the lives of all beings. May heaven's glory surround you and your loved ones. Welcome to the Trinity of Plant-Based Education, Liberation from an Animal Diet. On today's program, we review three different books, all of which express the same powerful message for the physical, emotional, and ecological benefits of a plant-based lifestyle. These three books are Eating Animals by Jonathan Safran Foer, The Engine to Diet by Rip Esselstyn, and The China Study by T. Colin Campbell, PhD, and Thomas M. Campbell II, MD. We will start with Jonathan Safran Foer's book, Eating Animals. Sparked by approaching fatherhood and the imminent responsibilities arising from it, Jonathan Safran Foer began to question his diet. His research eventually led to the publication of his internationally acclaimed book, Eating Animals. It delves into family history, the deep emotional connections we have with food, and how it ties us together as families, friends, and as human beings. He also examines our relationships with our companion animals, and then compares this to our treatment of farm animals. Despite the serious and disturbing truths he uncovers about the system inherent mistreatment of farm animals, the author manages to ask serious questions with some humor, keeping the reader engaged, and expounds on the consequences of our food choices at the same time. Mr. Four presents an unbiased picture by interviewing a diverse range of people, all of whom are involved with animals in the food system, allowing them to express their viewpoints without judgment. The book provides a first-person account of an anonymous animal rights activist whom Mr. Four accompanies on an undercover nighttime visit to a chicken breeding facility. This is directly followed by the viewpoint of a longtime factory farmer who sees nothing wrong with large-scale animal livestock raising. The author discusses what it means to eat meat coming from an inhumanely industrialized system which causes immense suffering to animals and rampant destruction of the environment. Eating Animals quickly became a New York Times bestseller and later formed the basis for a documentary of the same title. The film is directed by Christopher Quinn and narrated and co-produced by renowned actress Natalie Portman, who after reading the book immediately switched from a vegetarian diet to being fully vegan. While the book ends with Four and his family choosing a vegan lifestyle, the film goes further making an urgent appeal for society at large to become plant-based. 
In an online discussion about the book and its documentary film, Jonathan Four shared some facts about the horrendous conditions of the animals raised on factory farms. Ninety-nine percent of the animals that we eat come from factory farms. They're typically animals raised that are inside. They are animals that were bred to grow enormously in very short periods of time, eating as little food as possible. Animals that have to be fed antibiotics just to stay alive.、Um, the lighting is regulated inside the farm so that animals believe day and night is happening at cycles that are more quick. Than a 24-hour cycle, as happens in nature. It is wrong to have a food system that is more destructive to the environment than everything else put together. It's wrong to have a food system that's unnecessarily cruel to animals. Our next book is *The Engine to Diet*. By Rip Esselstyn. Rip is a former Austin, Texas, USA firefighter, professional triathlete, and health activist. Through the Engine to Diet program he developed, he transformed the wellness of the entire Austin Fire Department. The Engine to Diet is a low-fat, plant-based plan that seeks to prevent or even reverse illnesses such as heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's. And cancer. The book outlines a 28-day dietary regime consisting of whole plant-based foods, including grains, fruits, vegetables, and legumes, while eliminating all processed foods and oils. It provides a complete list of all the staple foods and necessary tools to have in the kitchen for the 28-day challenge. Esselstyn states that engine to diet followers can expect to develop leaner muscles, sharper minds, and more highly energized bodies. Rip also discovered that a plant-based diet gave him a faster recovery after workouts, providing an advantage during his races. Rip Esselstyn believes that to vastly improve our health, we need to break through some of our existing habits and paradigms. Including the habit of meat consumption. There's a saying: you can't break a glass bottle from the inside. And what we're currently doing with pills and procedures and more legislation and more doctors, we're not going to break that glass bottle. We have to think outside the box. And the answer is plant-based nutrition. Something so simple yet so profound and so inexpensive. Inspired by his world-renowned father, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn Jr.'s groundbreaking research on plant-based diets, Rip is now a highly sought-after advocate of the whole food plant-based diet. He was featured in the 2011 documentary *Forks Over Knives*, as well as in the 2018 documentary *The Game Changers*. The *Engine to Diet* book received national acclaim. And quickly became a number one New York Times bestseller. Dear viewers, let's enjoy some heartwarming moments with our animal friends. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back as we continue our program with a review of the book, The China Study, by T. Colin Campbell. Ph.D. and Thomas M. Campbell II, M.D. For over 40 years, Dr. T. Colin Campbell has been on the forefront of nutrition research and the advocacy of a low-fat, whole-food, plant-based diet. His legacy, the China Study, is one of the largest, most comprehensive studies on the relationship between nutrition and cancer, heart, and metabolic diseases ever conducted. It was launched through a partnership between Cornell University, Oxford University, and the Chinese Academy of Preventive Medicine, using data collected over a 20-year time span. 
Based on this data, Dr. Campbell concluded that animal foods are harmful for humans and adopting the whole food plant-based diet was an absolute necessity to maintain good health. This lifestyle provides prevention and treatment of potentially fatal chronic diseases like cancer. One of the key conclusions of this extensive research is that nutrients from animal-based foods increase tumor development, while nutrients from plant-based foods actually slow down or in some cases even reverse tumor development. The China study concludes that food is medicine. Plants provide us with antioxidants, giving us added protection from certain diseases and free radicals. The New York Times recognized the China study as the Grand Prix of epidemiology and the most comprehensive large study ever undertaken of the relationship between diet and the risk of developing disease. Dr. T. Colin Campbell was featured in the 2011 American documentary Forks Over Knives, which offers a simple solution to improve personal health and environment by switching from animal-based to plant-based food. The China study became a national bestseller and inspired many readers to shift from meat consumption to a plant-based diet. Dr. T. Colin Campbell believes there is an ever-growing widespread trend towards the vegan lifestyle. Paying attention to other sentient beings on the face of this planet. All we need to do is just decide on what to eat. People need to know what that information is. They have to have a structure by which they can sort of go about doing this kind of business and so. I think this energy that's being invested in this whole activity is really kind of special. I've talked to so many people here already who have uh, sort of gotten in on the game in the last year or two and seen remarkable things and I just feel it in the air. Things are about to happen. In conclusion, these three inspirational books take the readers on different excursions of discovery concerning the food we eat, along with the effects it has on humans, the animals, and the earth. The unifying message is clear. For us to prosper in health and happiness, we must quickly turn away from meat, dairy, fish, and eggs, and embrace the life-saving, benevolent vegan diet today. Many thanks to the authors Jonathan Safran Four, Rip Esselstyn, Drs. T. Colin Campbell and Thomas M. Campbell for sharing their precious insights and research. May you be blessed abundantly for enabling readers to better understand the health, environmental, and compassionate benefits of the vegan lifestyle. Inspiring viewers, we appreciate your presence today for our program. May you feel the divine nature of God present within you every day. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique VEG. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com bar inclinada VEG. మా కార్యక్రమాలు అందజేస్తున్నాయి అనేక భాషలలో దయచేసి చూడండి సుప్రీ మాస్టర్ టీవీ చుక్కా కామ్ ఎదురు స్లాష్ షెడ్యూల్ మరియు సుప్రీ మాస్టర్ టీవీ చుక్కా కామ్ ఎదురు స్లాష్ విఈజీ